Hey guys, welcome, it's Corinne. I wanted to shoot a quick video because I've had a lot on my mind this morning and um, I just wanted to share <laughs> um, just some key thoughts and words to live by in your life um, and just, just some tips and reminders, okay? So my name's Corinne, I am a master at manifesting. I absolutely love the fact that our imagination creates reality. I have been studying Neville Goddard and just because you study and come to these teachings, power of awareness and law of attraction and really begin to awaken to your consciousness doesn't mean that it's going to be a smooth road from here to paradise. Um, we all need reminders to stay the course and to be persistent and to... Um, Stay on track and not slip back to your old self. Neville Goddard, um, he has a comment in one of his books where he basically says that um, you, whatever state of consciousness we return to the most frequently, that's like our resting place. Whatever um, state of awareness, that's our resting state. And we can live in any state. You can live in a state of poverty, a state of not enoughness. You can live in a state of misery or joy or happiness or believing that you are a badass or believing that things don't work out for you. Those are all mental states. And we have states or assumptions on every area of our lives that we perceive, you know, whether it's our beauty or our health or our hair, you know, I always get sick, I never have enough money, you know, men always cheat, blah, blah, blah. The list can go on and on. But I wanted to, one, remind us, you know, as we're on this journey of greatness and unfolding, to give yourself permission to be happy, to um, enjoy the things that you have already created and manifested, and know that the desires that you are currently on the path of seeking, they exist and they exist for you because they spoke to you. And just because you don't see them in your textile, tangible 3D reality, it doesn't mean that they're not real. And one mistake that I used to make in the past is if I didn't have what, if I wasn't at my goal, I'm not going to be happy till I get it. I'm not going to be satisfied till I get it. And what can happen with that, if you take that attitude, what can happen is that you don't get to experience the joy of what you already have and the joy of those things becoming, the unfolding of it. And it is a journey. And I know it's like, kind of cliche to say, you know, it's all in the journey. It's not the end. But truly, as we are creating, it should be and it can be a joyous unfolding. So don't beat yourself up. Um, um, count your blessings, so to speak. Write in your journal, you know, a few things that you are just purely grateful that you have. And when you are you know, working on your next thing or your next manifestation, celebrate it, celebrate it. Don't hold yourself apart from it and live in desire. If you want to be an author, if you want to be a writer, but you know, you're currently working in a writing gig and you don't know how you're going to publish your first book. So what? Celebrate the fact that you have that desire Go into your inner space and identify with the inner being and see the new you that you want to see. And then give yourself credit for already being that new person. And that is what I found has freed me the most. I was so happy yesterday and it was just, I just started getting these waves of joy. And I remember laughing going like, I'm already what I want to be. That shit is awesome. Um, I wrote myself these little mental notes because it happens to everyone. You know, you're working on a specific goal or you're moving towards something and you're all excited and you're seeing progress and you're happy and you're living your life. And then sometimes these old states of consciousness or these old thoughts of, of doubt or you don't see it. When Well, when is it going to happen? You know, and so you don't necessarily see it and then you get in, it, it can get you into a bit of a rut or back into your former state. But if you ever see that former state, 
tell that bitch to get the hell out of here and claim your divinity, claim who you already are, claim who you're becoming, and celebrate the fact that you already are that what you want to be. And, and then go take, get off your ass and go take some action and some steps towards making it happen. You know, and li act as if it's already done. If you were already that wonderful author and writer, how would you spend your time? Oh, well, I'm studying, I'm writing, I'm blogging, I'm building my Instagram, I'm building my social media. Act as if you're already that successful person. Do the things that someone that was that success would be doing. And do it because you love it. Do it because you love being a successful writer. It brings you so much joy to share your creativity and your stories with the real world. I love sharing my experiences. I love helping other people. And so do it from that place. And I'm telling you, you will find that you break the bondage of holding on and chasing your dreams. And I'm trying to get this and trying to get that. You already have it. So you free up all that energy and you're free to be happy happy right now so i just wanted to share that thought hope you guys um enjoy catch you on the next video bye